where you say, hey, Terrence, maybe in his first week. And then next week, now there's a nickname. Hey, what's going on, T? Or maybe after that, you forget the whole introduction. How was your weekend? Hey, is your family okay? What's going on? What? There's a whole lot that starts to develop after us just starting with hello, simply deciding to connect, which is that last step. As we bring it on home, this is something I want us to pay attention to. After you see people, you decide you want to connect. Then you say, okay, I'm actually going to do it. You find a way to greet somebody in, a, in an authentic and sincere way. Maybe you say hi. Maybe you say hello, hey. But you greet them with sincerity. You ask a question, maybe. Maybe use an icebreaker, but make it about them. Ask why, and you can validate that person. You let them know that they have value within your community, and vice versa. You can give your perspective on that same topic. Simple ways to just have a conversation, just a simple roadmap to remind us that it's not so difficult for us to simply connect with one another. Sandy Hook Promise, you know, is an organization that really thrives on building a community, you know, starting with our children, our young people, our students, who are our future, making sure first that they're safe, and uh, promoting a message about inclusion, about connectedness, how we can come together, see each other as human beings, and realize that, you know, life hits us all in different ways, but what's important is that we are connected and we support one another in those difficult times, because we all have them, you know, we all go through them. So in those times, we have to be there for one another and it's not too early to remind our young people and to also empower them, to give them the tools to be able to do that. Not only be there for themselves and their, their peers, but also find ways to, to learn from adults you know, in new ways, find ways to connect and build new skills and connect in new and creative ways. How can we let people know that we, have, we care about them? How can we continue the conversation? Talk to your parents about, hey, what can we do to build inclusion and connectedness in our communities, in our households? Talk to your, your parents, our peers, our, your, even teachers. Say, hey, can we build a group on campus, a club, Safe Promise Club is a way so many students are being mobilized. Students Against Violence Everywhere. It's a great opportunity for you all to create a club and say, let's have some school-wide events, get some resources and do something different in our community. Anything that became popular, any movement that actually made a difference, didn't start off popular, it didn't start off like, all right, this was something that I always knew was gonna change everything. It took one person, then it took two people, and then it took the community, and build and build. And it takes us each and every opportunity to just see people as human beings, reminding us ourselves, what does it mean to be human? 